Welcome to part five of my video on tips for traveling in Iberia. This is, I'm going to try and make this one short. Uh, if you want to save a lot of money uh, traveling in Spain, then uh, don't buy food in cafes. They have supermarkets, same as everyone else. And if you spend any time, particularly if you have a smartphone, you can find a supermarket nearly everywhere. There's one right off of Los Ramblas in Barcelona, uh, between it and the main uh, transit hub, uh, just to the north. Um, and it's super convenient. In Madrid, there was one right across the street from where I was staying. Um, in Lisbon, there was one just halfway between myself, where I was staying in Rossi Plaza, just up the hill a little bit and tucked in. I'll talk about that one another time because that one was an interesting experience. And uh, let's see, Pamplona had to go the furthest out of my way, but it really wasn't out of my way because I just went over there and saw the Japanese Botanical Garden while I was on the, on the way back. So it was kill two birds with one stone. And why do I think you should have a video on the grocery stores in Spain? They work a little bit differently. Again, like most of your European grocery stores, if you don't have a bag, you'll have to buy one. So bring a bag, or in my case, several times I just put stuff right in my backpack. They seemed shocked at that, like that had never dawned on them before. But anyway, the, the biggest tip that you need to know, which shocked me and caused a little bit of grief, is the way they do their produce. Now, you don't pick your own, and you don't weigh your own, and you don't really even touch it. There's an employee there in the produce department, and you tell them what you want. I didn't know this because I've never been there before, and they will pick them for you. And uh, they will put them on the scale, weigh them, and you get this bag with all of your produce together to go and scan. And um, I don't know if this was just because of the places that I was or if the, the people I ran into, but uh, you know, I tell them I want three bell peppers and two bananas or whatever. And uh, one time, I, the, the guy was picking up bananas, trying to find some good ones, and said, they're all bad, so I'm going to give you four and charge you for two. <laughs> so I think I ate three of them, you know, because some of the parts of, of them I had to throw away and threw one of them away. But it was interesting to see them being generous um, and thoughtful. And it was interesting. He didn't pick out bad stuff. Uh, and But I did not know that ahead of time. So the first time I went – so that's the first grocery store. The next one I went to in the next town – um, I got to the checkout and she was pissed at me because I hadn't already weighed the produce. There are no signs that say weigh your produce before you come. That one you had to weigh your own, which is why I didn't know because I thought just thought I'd been to an upper muckety muck grocery store in Madrid, which doesn't make sense given the neighborhood I was in. But um, you need to weigh your produce before you come. They don't have a scale at the checkout stand and you may not be allowed to touch it for yourself. So if you're going to go buy uh, unless it's in a pre they do a lot of, you know, pound of this, pound, or sorry, kilo, half kilo of produce that's already pre-weighed, or they've weighed it and put a price on it, and you just grab it and go, which works for grapes and tomatoes and things. Um, you're going to have to weigh your own and bring it with you uh, already weighed to the check stand, or you'll get lit from the checker. And I don't know why. Do I look like I'm Spanish to you? Uh, every time I would talk, they would they knew as soon as I opened my mouth that I wasn't from there. <laughs> Uh, even though I spoke decent Spanish. Uh, and uh, so they shouldn't have been surprised, but it, that's something you should know if you're going to go there. You can save a ton of money. I ate for 10 euros a day making my own food. And then this one last anecdote, because this is kind of funny. So I'm at the Cervantes statue, and I sit down in the in the shade of this tree because it's the only part that isn't wet from the uh, water coming from up above. And I get out my baguette and I start I rip it open and start making sandwiches. And there's some Spaniards sitting there looking at me like, oh, that's a good idea. Like they'd never seen that before. And it dawned on me, Spaniards may not know what sandwiches are because the Earl of Sandwich is, that's a place in Britain. And I'm guessing sandwiches have something to do with that. It's common to us because we're a British colony. It may not be common to them, but I, I found it funny that to have them watch me like, oh, that's a good idea. We should do that. Uh, and I really just did it to uh, for convenience because then I could eat whenever I was hungry, wherever I was, and didn't have to look for a place unless I wanted to. Anyway, tips for traveling. Part five, good luck. Happy travels.